Yo, what's up? So, you guys, there's really no, uh, there's really no beaver lodge on this pond, per se. Nothing mudded up, you know, nothing that says there's a beaver lodge here. Except for they've cut down a ton of trees. And now you can see here, there's a, just a monster bank den going out. Down around the, down here a little ways, about another 65 yards, there's a hill and the beaver have three bank dens going up under that hill um, but here's a monster here I walked up and a pretty nice beaver came shooting out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a 330 in it right here and let's see here these gloves are sh honestly you guys are so nice I cut my stick finding time in half. I could, like I said, I could be using H stands all the time, but we're not gonna because H stands are not necessarily our friends. Just kidding. I'm liking them more and more, but not that much. Okay. So, don't have a safety wire for this, but I have a cable wire right there that will hold that side up. And I do have a safety wire for this side, you guys. There's going to be four traps total going in here. I'll show one or two 330 sets, and then I am doing a caster mount set, targeting the back foot out there, okay? Normally I target the front foot, but that channel out there is super, super deep, you guys. So, all right. You guys can't see because there's a log here, but this is going directly in the run. Stick on each side. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Okay. Try and get my sticks ready here. I can feel this. This is a perfect run for this trap, or this set, I should say. Trap is right in where it needs to be, perfectly. Right there, other side. There we go. You guys, literally that quick, that 330 is set. Um, hopefully there will be a beaver here floating here tomorrow. Log is pretty, pretty stiff. Plus that's a brand new trap from last year. Put the cable on here. That beaver ain't going nowhere. I did have a, I did see a rat come out and spring this trap as well. So it could get sprung traps from rats, I don't know. But there we go, that quick. All right, well, we're at this part of the lodge. There was a bank den back there. There's a lodge right there. There's a tiny bit of mud on it, but for the most part, it's all covered in grass and weeds. There might be a run in there, but there's currently a run right there, a run right here, a run right here, and I am going to set a foothold right there, you guys. Okay, so this is just, just a point here pretty much you know this could i mean maybe this is an old beaver lodge but it, i highly doubt it. it's like 80 feet wide there's a tree growing out of it. it's just a point of land it's got to be but unfortunately you guys i'm really sorry the top of my tripod busted off yep so i can't set it up so you guys can watch me trap anymore my gopro is not down here so i'm going to set these traps tomorrow though i'll get the gopro or i'll try to get another top for that and you guys will see the rest but anyway Three cotton bears going in here and a foothold. Yo, what up? We are back to this pond right here. Got an old lodge kind of in the center of the trees there. But I got three run set out there, a bank den, and then a caster mound out there. I know there's some giant beaver in here. I tried to trap them last year. I'm not going to lie. I had in, what did I have in? I had in a some 330s caster mounds and they didn't touch them didn't do nothing with them but there was a bunch of beaver so i don't know if they're trap shy we'll find out today if i don't have nothing in the con bears and one in the foothold that means they're trap shy let's do it all right you guys let's see here i have 
Oh, well, there's a beaver right there. I can see his nose sticking out of the water. Small one. But that's definitely a beaver. And then over here, I don't see... What do I don't see here? Anything? A trap? Is it just sprung? Is there nothing in it? There's a beaver. Yep, little beaver. Okay, well, let's see here, you guys. There's one stick. Where's the other stick at? I don't know. Should be there. Okay, well. <laughs> one little beaver there. Ugh. Oh, they chewed her off. That's why. One little beaver there. Looks like another little guy here. I can see the top of his nose sticking out here. Uh. That's number two. Little guys, but still two beaver. And still two. Beaver. I have one back here. One by the road had nothing in it. There's air bubbles. I don't know if that means anything or not. Oh, that one's still set. Okay. That one's still set. Last but not least, we got my foothold over here with the drowning rod. Two. And, um, I don't see my trap here anywhere. Don't see my trap here anywhere, you guys. Which is generally a good thing. I can see a beaver has pushed mud up here. Hopefully there's something down at the end of this. Ah. There's a deep channel, you guys. Let's see. Come on. Yep, there's something down there. I mean, I know what we got. Oh! Feels heavy. Big beaver by the back foot. Oh, he must have come in from the back side there. But, boom. Big old blanket. Big old blanket. Look at that foot catch on that. No BS. Extreme, you guys. Wow. He must have come in from the back side of the caster mound. That has to be what happened. Um, I don't have any, no, no sprung traps with nothing in them, so that means none of them are trap shy. I'm guessing, you guys, that there's a lot more in here than just these. So I'll reset these quick. Ooh, I just heard the ice out there. I'll give you a little look at them. All right, you guys, I'm just going to do a quick reset on this trap for you. Um, I got this guy by the back foot. And I was thinking, I, at first I was thinking it was because... He come from behind the caster mound, but that's not true. I remember going up to the caster mound, it's like six inches deep. You know, that's not ideal for a beaver um, to get a front foot in there. So I put it back in like 10 inches of water, hoping to get a back foot, and that's exactly what happened. I got in the water and I'm like, hey, because I knew I set one trap yesterday targeting the back foot because this channel here is super deep. And there's no, there was no worries of me uh, or of the beaver not drowning because of the depth. So, sometimes just go for the back foot. Oh.
get that stake down there. Get my hand away from the trap. So get my hand caught in it. Because that would be bad. Let's see here, there it is. Okay, you guys. So I'm going so I'm picture the beaver's gonna come up sniffing. He's going to get right to about here, and he's going to drop both those back feet. So I'm going to go back about a foot and a half. I don't know, about a, actually about a foot is what it really is. About a foot. I'm going to bed this trap nice and solid right here. And once again, a beaver is going to come up to smell this caster I put on here. Drop his back foot right into that trap. Let me see here, right? Yep. Right there. Ah, right into that trap again. And be down at the end of the drowning rod, hopefully. So yeah, that was my that was my set from yesterday. Uh, there, all right. That's it for today. You would think there'd be a couple, be some bigger two-year-olds in here too. But we got one giant and two dinks, you guys. That's an old beaver, I think. I think the beaver's really old. Like the tail's all wrinkled up on it. Yeah. I hear stuff out here in the ice. I think there's more beaver running around here. Should be a bunch more in here, you guys. We'll be back in the morning to find out. All right, you guys, we are back. A little bead action here. All the other traps are not set up. one here is we got a very very small micro sized beaver but look at that suitcase catch she was retired and not going anywhere that's for sure yeah so huh that's gonna be a short check video but that's cool you guys we'll come back in a couple days and we'll pull these and whether I get some or not we'll give you an end of this video see you then oh let's see here you guys super windy out I apologize for that let's see here pull some traps here we pulled some Pulled a few beaver out here, not a million of them. Did pull some night or pull a nice one though and some small ones. I don't see a beaver currently in this trap. Uh, okay, here we go. Ugh. I can go over there. Oh, let's see here. Uh -huh. Nothing in this guy either. Looks a little messed up, maybe. Doesn't look normal anyway. I don't know. Looks fired anyway. Oh, there we go. Another little beaver, you guys. One more little beaver right there. Out of that trap. Okay, I'll be your foothold over here. I don't see it anywhere. The foothold is gone. No, it's not. It's still there. Darn it. Well, it's all right, I guess. Oh, 